Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play. I was about to say Talisman. Why was I about to say Talisman? Dragon's Crown. We're playing Dragon's Crown. Talisman is a completely different but awesome board game. Anyways, last we left off, we faced off against a freaking rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail and a Cyclops. I'd like to think I did rather well against the Cyclops. I'd like to think. Um, that said, I think we've done pretty much all the lower level missions that don't involve us having to go all the way through. Actually, no, I haven't done the ghost ship cove at all. All right. We'll do this path. The inside of the cave connects to a fissure mm. on the coastline. Sure does. It seems large enough to contain another ocean. Sailors dread passing through this area. <laughs> there are myriad tales that is still of ships so disappearing. So still, yeah, still so satisfactory. You guys don't even know. Oh, hey, more allies the better, indeed. Honestly, when it gets to the point where I'm actually going to have to solo bosses for the main, uh, for the side stuff, I won't terribly mind. It's still gonna be a giant pain in the anus. But what can you do? Ah, God damn it! So preoccupied with these goddamn bats half the time. Or at least I feel like I am. So this one is the one where the path is broken up by a mermaid. It. Yes. I love that when that actually hits an enemy. <laughs> Did he just die in midair? I love it. Ah, dang it. Key annoyance when it comes to a lot of beat em ups, too, is that enemies will appear on either side of the screen randomly. A beautiful voice in the sea calls out to you. You'd heard of the mermaid's legendary curiosity. She asks you many questions. She wandered into these shallow waters after being chased by a kraken. She says the kraken should still be nearby. Which path will you take? I mean, I guess I'm going to seek out the kraken and defeat it for the fair mermaid. Yay! Krakens! The Kraken lurks in the cave and attacks ships that pass through the area. You throw caution to the wind and fling your party headlong into a confrontation against the Kraken. I can't throw a Kraken, can I? Well, I don't know. Maybe I can throw a Kraken. Much in the same way that Sabin was able to surplex a goddamn train in Final Fantasy. Which Final Fantasy? You'll have to find that shit out. Wait, is this pretty much just using the old path? Hot damn, that combo. Hot damn, that gangbang on me. There we go. Alright, get this. And... Damn it. Kind of hoping for a little bit of... There we go. Yay, yeah, two whole health points back. The stranded ship starts moving. Something is pulling the ship from beneath the water. Oh! They say I'm fine. Light with torch. How about with this? The tentacles grasp hold of the mast. If this continues, the ship will capsize. Oh, this is not going as planned. Okay, seriously. Light with torch. Light with torch. Ow. Oh, okay. Uh, release the elf. Thank you. Did I do that right? God damn it. 
Oh. Okay. I died because it threw an elf at me. <sighs> oh, come on. The tentacles cross hold of the mast. If this continues, the ship will capsize. Yep. This don't suck at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Go figure. That's not game over, is it? Water and avoid drowning. You saw the Kraken go into this cave. Now it's your turn. Press your advantage. I what advantage? I just got capsized by the Kraken. Be careful. I don't know how you tell say that that's an advantage of some sort, but narrator, what are you on? <laughs> that that's an advantage. Uh, I can do that. Great. A Kraken. And you know that there's a side quest where I have to be able to succeed at that without losing the ship or whatever. And rest assured, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm not lamenting that fact. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright. Take a little bit of food. Yeah. Why am I picking up? Oh, okay. For a second there, the axes looked like daggers in my hands. You inch closer to the Kraken's lair. I don't wanna. They're the one making me. Kindly don't do that. Oh wait, am I supposed to... Is this timed, or am I actually trying to... I'm not sure what I'm trying to do, because I ain't doing damage to him. Uh, my bomb not go off? My bomb didn't go off. Oh, that's poison. That sucks. Come on, get back up. I don't think I'm able to take out the Kraken with bombs in this one. Okay, so I do have to take out these tentacles. And when I do... That provides essentially a way for me to do damage to the Kraken, but if I do it under... I'm I'm under a time limit, essentially. Ow. That's not doing as much damage as I hope it's doing, huh? No, I don't think it is. Can we kindly destroy these goddamn tentacles already? <laughs> Methinks I need a couple of more uh, friendlies in order to take this guy out. Well, reliably, anyways. There's the second one. I gotta fit up. Oh, there we go. Whew. Was that bomb or arrow that took that guy out? You strike a death blow to the kraken that have been terrorizing the sea. Many sailors will certainly raise a toast in your honor once word of your victory gets out. Let's return to town. <laughs> I'd like to level up, please. I took out a crack, and I certainly hope I leveled up. You obtained the red talisman. Sweet. All right. Oh, I want you to. I. I'll appraise it here. Stout light gauntlets. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, even from Draconic Foes. That'll be helpful. And I just turned level 29, so... 
Not as good as I was hoping for, but... Actually... Uh, I am going to identify this belt. I do need a better belt. Yeah, let's just... Con plus six and low speed ten plus ten percent. I guess I'm keeping everything. Was kind of expecting the whole thing with ship to go bad, because let's face it. You need five more talismans to defeat the ancient dragon. Kraken versus ship. Um it's almost instantaneously a losing fight. Alright, fire, magic, and physical resistance. Defense of only 21 versus 26 with an 8% chance of lightning retribution. Sounds good to me. Um, I suppose I would be replacing either the sage's leather mantle or the stout titan arm. Or the knave's gold. Probably the knave's gold. Seeing as that's the lowest one. 6% chance. Oh, wait. Hmm. Collectively, a 14% chance of lightning retribution. Ah, but that damage. Yeah. That's 12 more thing, so. Alright. Uh, should I do the Castle of the Dead? <laughs> what would you like? I really don't want to do the Castle of the Dead. <laughs> Because that means they're going to be dead Which things. Which one do you want? Uh, I'll sell that. Keep that. Lose that. Lose that. No. Yes. What could possibly be in the castle of the dead that's worse than vampires? Don't answer that. There's a lot of things that are going to be worse in the castle of the dead besides vampires. Um... Shoot, I leveled up. Mmm, I'll... Uh, I was gonna say, maybe I'll save the level up for later, but... Go back. I'll learn some skills. I'm level 29 now, so... Uh, could take another point of lethal fiests. Just tempting. Can't do skydive. Eagle dive. Same difference, really. Uh, wait. Supplement. Supplemental category skill. What? What does that mean? Do not have the required number of skill levels in the supplemental category. Oh. Okay, I see what they mean. So just under the card, you see that it says attack skill, supplemental skill, or whatnot. So I don't have five ranks total in the supplemental skills that will allow me to... Okay. Uh, let's take toughness then. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I kind of want to take that, but I kind of want to take... No, I can't take this because I'm not level 30. Yay! Maybe I'll take some HP instead. Does that mean I can? Not. Dang it. Uh, well, I suppose this... No, not... Or is it? This in combination with my other one... Uh, is not bad. Totally bad. Yeah. Because this one's healing... Five, the other one's also healing five. Well, once I level up. Well, uh, kind of want to go Powder Master. I'm going to destroy those bosses. Again, I don't think that the bombs worked against the Kraken at all, but it makes sense now that I think about it because I was literally tossing them inside water. So. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, man. I'm just remembering some of the other quests that I had read before, like, oh, there's a quest in the Castle of the Dead where I'm going to have to keep the gals alive and un uninfected, and that's going to suck. But I'm not doing those quests right now, so yeah. In the catacombs, Enemies. stark white bones are strewn about the ground as far as the eye can see. The sheer number of the deceased is the only indication left of this area's former prosperity. Oh. These guys are taking a lot more damage than I thought they were going to. Of course, I'm level 55. Or 55. I'm not. Where the hell did I just read 55? He goes boom. Dude also goes boom. Woman! Sometimes. Sometimes. I feel like I should just leave NPCs to their death. Please don't go running on ahead just yet. I don't think I trust the food that's in the catacombs for God knows how long. Alright, is that gonna make them blow? Yep. Oh. Don't wanna step in that. Ah, God damn it, Vivia. Part of me likes that the, uh, the NPCs all, like, have their own names and whatnot, that way I can be very specific about who I'm mad about. Vivia. Vivia, do not see the two things of grapes and two pretzels on the ground. Alright. A strange oh. knight stumbles out of the darkness. He pays you no heed and walks right past you. The knight is muttering to himself. You strain your ears, but all you can make out is the death god is coming. Which path will you take? Curious, you march off after the night. You follow him into a walkway. The death god is I'm facing the Grim Reaper, aren't I? Why do I make these decisions? When you step onto the walkway, the night disappears like smoke. Half back is inaccessible. The situation is dangerous. Hey. I mean, at the least, it's only ghosts so far. What's worse than goats? Goats? What am I saying? I don't know. I don't want to know what's worse than goats. More ghosts. I know I probably should also be looking for more and more treasure the more and more I'm you know, getting into some of these areas. Actually, wait. My axe is magic. Don't matter, she's got a flamethrower. Oh, hello. Allow me to try to deal with the ghosts. There we go. Oh, did your skeleton all- What the hell is your skeleton gone? Eh, my health has 666. This doesn't look good. You must find mm. Found one! Or oh, is that not one? Come on. Leaving. To overcome the power of the Death God, you must rely on the goddess to save you. Only the light shone by the angel statue will expose the Wraith's weakness. Okay. Where's that statue? Oh. Uh. Do I have torch? I have torch. 
divine light shines forth, exposing the world's own weakness, the dream heart. I don't know what the... Okay, come on. I would very much love for the game to give me an opportunity to actually attack said heart now. But I am dead, so I don't have a chance. Oh no, they're attacking the statue too. Shit. Damn it. Oh, come on. What that swing? I'm trying to pick up the torch, but dude is literally standing right on top of it. No, pick up the torch. I hate you with a fiery passion, sir. On the one hand, I totally figured... Am I just dead? I don't see another statue. Or is there one just over here? There's one over here. Oh, come on. Sir. That is very rude. Wait, I'm sorry. Is this piece of shit the one that's doing like a million goddamn damage? Also attacking the goddamn statue. And thusly causing me to get super boned. That's two deaths. Don't break my heart! The divine light fades, and hopelessness once again darkens your heart. Uh, am I like super boned? Divine light shines forth, the race Oh god, nope. Vivia returned. I did not notice that Vivia was uh, completely down and out for the count, so let's be honest, I'm royally screwed if I don't have some assistance in this fight. Oh, come on, Vivia. <sighs> that fight sucks. Destroy the dream heart and send the wraith back to the underworld. You cannot destroy death, the opposite of life. You should rejoice in the fact you even still draw breath. I got negative gold for this adventure. Because <laughs> I died so many times and revived Vivia. That's fine. Back to town, please. <laughs> ah. You obtained the yellow talisman. Yay! I'm making good progress on the talismans, at the least. Do I want this amulet? Nah. I don't even able to use most of these. I gotta do some side quests in order to level up. Me thinks, anyways. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. You need four more talismans to defeat the ancient dragon. I think what. The one that's going to irritate me the what most, uh, talisman quest-wise, anyways, is the gargoyle one. Cause let's face it, that one. That was all about like defending a gate. I'm not exactly sure what the hell I was even doing in that quest. You're back. Uh, I have no skill points. What am I doing? I think we're good, because I really don't want to look at the quests and be all like, ugh. But I feel like if I get the last of the talismans before I do the final quests, then it's going to be like, oh, so you're ready to face off against the ancient dragon. Mm, maybe not. So, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, uh, we're going to do some more shenaniganry with the talismans, possibly. 
So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm loving playing it. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.